the true story behind the Blue Battlefield Ghost. As we enter the spooky season, we have decided to revisit the tale of the Blue Battlefield Ghost. The main road linking Medway and Maidstone has been the topic of many ghostly sightings over the years, and it all started back in 1965. On November 19th, Suzanne Brown and her two friends tragically died in a car crash. The 24-year-old was returning from her hen night when her Ford Cortina spun out of control on the A229, colliding with a Jaguar heading the other way. Susan was due to marry RAF technician Brian Wetton the following day. Despite a common belief that she died on the road, it was actually her friend Judith Lingham who passed away there. Miss Brown and Patricia Ferguson died a few days later in Maidstone Hospital. But the tragedy has also left a mysterious legacy, with unexplained visions being reported throughout the 1960s and 70s at the site, although ghostly sightings there are set to date even further back, to the 1930s. For the 50th anniversary of the crash, a number of spiritual believers gathered outside the Lower Bell Pub, nearby. Sonia Roseman, a filmmaker, released a drama entitled The Ghost of Blue Bell Hill in 2014. The 39-year-old from Rochester said, I think it frightens people way too much to talk about it, but there are still things going on up there. When it was the 50th anniversary, the paranormal teams picked up some weird stuff. They had this device that meant you could hear the ghosts and it picked up some voices, screaming and shouting for help. I just think the whole place is tragic and there is such a bad feeling there. Miss Roseman filmed shots for her movie along the road and carried out extensive research into the history of the area. She added, There had been a motorcycle crash just days before the filming, so it is still going on these days. There were a lot of people who didn't want me to make the film because they were worried something would happen to me. When I was researching it, I put pictures up in my kitchen and just days later my flat burnt down, but the pictures weren't destroyed. I thought I had just got to make this film. The road is just a really eerie, nasty road. The whole place has a bad karma about it. Every time I go down there, I have to pinch myself and want nothing to happen. In 1972, Bob Vanderpeer said he gave a lift to a girl on the hill only to later turn around and discover the hitchhiker had vanished in the back of the car. In 1971, James Ski was driving home from work when a girl in her early 20s suddenly appeared in front of his car. He gave her a lift to Chatham, but when she got out, she disappeared. There have also been stories of a girl who stares into the eyes of drivers as she steps out into the road, unable to stop cars crashing into her, but when a driver checks to see if she is okay, she is vanished. Have you encountered the Blue Bell Hill Ghost? Hi everybody, Paul Paranormal, Samantha Teresa. Hello there. She's looking a bit taller. Oh yeah, I'm not really good. <laughs> I'm standing up a hill actually. <laughs> yeah, the car's on a slope, that's yeah. why she looks taller. Well, <laughs> Paul's got his coat on because he says he's cold. Yeah, it is a bit nippy. Isn't the, it? the wind has got up, but where we are and what we're going to do, my, there might be a reason for this, right. Yeah. We are at the top of Bluebell Hill in Tumbr in um, Aylesford, near um, Chatham, really, that sort of road. That, I mean, people may have heard of it, our viewers. Um, in the 1965, there was a young lady called Suzanne Brown who died in a traffic accident on the eve of her wedding in November um, on Bluebell Hill. Um, there has been lots of sightings over the year years rather painting. Painting. painting right there's been lots of sightings of um, a bride which is what she was going to be the next day she was going to marry an RAF chap um, wandering up and down and quite often cars have thought they've hit her and they've got out the car and had a look and she's gone one or two people have picked her up and then they've looked in the back and she's evaporated and this isn't untrue it's all, all you know not everybody tells sort of strange things and um, she runs into the road in front of them even locks eyes with people and then she um, 
runs away, you know, disappears. So we're going to see if we can pick her up. Her name was Suzanne Brown. She's obviously very, very stressed about it still. And she was obviously, you know, going to be married the very next day. So it was all excitement in the car. There was four girls in the car, three of which died and one survived. So, but they say that Suzanne didn't actually die on Bluebell Hill. She died in the hospital. Her friend died on Bluebell Hill. But um, they say it's Suzanne that actually haunts the hill. So we'll see. And we're actually standing at the top part of the old part of the road. So hopefully we're going to pick something up. But it's very windy up here. Yes. And it's very spooky. Very spooky. Mm. So we will see. Okay. Okay, Suzanne, would you like to come forward? We know you still walk this road. We know you still come out sometimes. Um, I think sometimes, probably it's nearer the date of your wedding. I think that was the 21st of November, 1965. Frogs. Um, frogs. Frogs. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> All right, we're not frogs. <laughs> we're a bit green like a frog. I look like a grot bag. <laughs> but... Um, Anyhow, we'll see. Suzanne, would you like to come forward, please? Could we help you at all? We know you walk this land, and we know that you're obviously very tormented. So, if you'd like to come forward, we could help you. Maybe cross over. I don't know if you're... I don't know if your husband-to-be um, is still alive, or still living in the area, or whatever happened. But I'm sure that you found it very distressing. You must, you know, you're looking forward to a very bright life, really. That's Terribly. Yeah. I should have brought me Carl, too. No, I'm all right. I'm not cold. Suzanne. It's going to be. Su What's going to be, was that? Yeah, it sounded like it. Suzanne, my name is Paul. This is Teresa. Hello, Suzanne. The year is 2023. It is. And we're going around attempting to communicate with souls that may be lost. It's nearly 60 years ago, isn't it, that Suzanne died? Isn't it? 58 years. Yeah. If you're trapped on the earth in some sort of limbo, come forward, speak. It does feel that way, doesn't it, that she's in limbo? We're, we're not here to harm you. Sabotaging. 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 Okay. Did someone sabotage your wedding day? Did they sabotage your car? They didn't have the, um, the, the the machinery or the knowledge, did they, to find out if your car had been sabotaged in those days? No. So they didn't have the, the know-how. Did you? It could have been Suzanne. She's definitely in this area, because this is the old Bluebell Hill. Well, you saw it, it was a very old road, wasn't it? Yeah. very nippy. Suzanne, can you hear me? We're using technology here, We've got phones. They're using apps. Applications, one, yeah. One you can speak through and the other one is a word dictionary. Mm, mm. Use them to communicate with us or speak into the camera. She's here. So don't, don't you think so? Yeah, definitely. We're using dual view so you can see the road behind. Yeah, well. yeah. That is the old road that you're looking at. Just down there is the old part of the road. What's your surname? Brown. Audrey. Suzanne Brown. 1930s. 1930s, no. She'd have been born 60, 50. She may well have been born in the 30s. Yeah. Just, maybe. Yeah. 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 Suzanne, is it you that still walks these roads? She's born 43, actually. 1943. I just worked it out. So maybe not, but... Is your husband-to-be still alive? I'll have a look later when I get home. 
Did he marry somebody else? Negative. Maybe he didn't. We'll find out, won't we? So he died? As he passed. I'm going to have a look. Maybe we go. Curiosity he never <laughs> killed trees, so that's for sure. <laughs> Things we do. Answer. 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 I'm going to try. Just a minute. Suzanne, is that you affecting the wind? Because it's picked up in a big way. Yeah, it's a lot of. Yeah, there's a lot. Your babies. Something about babies. Two babies. Ooh. Don't know if she was having a baby. I wouldn't have thought so in those days. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jordan. Okay. Neonatal nurse. What? Suzanne, did jump, somebody jeopardise your car, your wedding? Is that why you're so angry? Or with Vietnam. Vietnam. Somebody would like it. Maybe that's where he was going. Uh, Brian Whitten. You all right? Okay. Oh, she is around. Yeah, she is around. Let's see if he's still alive. If there's any souls... Bloody Nora. That's not very nice. Yeah. It's deceived. It's deceived. I'm getting a lot here. You was deceived? So I'm just picking a spot. Filthy beast. <laughs> Who resides here? There's someone here. Suzanne, use all of your being, all of your soul. Let us see mm. you. Still alive. Still alive? Mm. What was his name? Brian Whitten. Got his own business in Croydon. Uh, That's his son, so obviously remarried. Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah. Suzanne, tell us what happened, please. What happened to your friends? Because one of them lived, didn't she? didn't stay in the Air Force long after you passed. Migrant. Migrant? Really? Yeah. Suzanne, now, now is the time to talk, to tell your story. Problem. Problem. It's a problem. Why is it a problem, Suzanne? I've got to look into but it looks like he may still be with us be very elderly though sorry just <laughs> Suzanne do you still walk this land even today up until last year you were seen you scared well, I just say the life but you have scared people quite a bit, jumping out on them and things. I know you're tormented. Would you like help? We would like to help you, Suzanne. We really would. Please don't be frightened of us. We mean you no harm. One word. Do you believe in God? Awareness. Awareness. Okay. Can you help us to focus on you? Suzanne. Suzanne Brown. She's here. She's definitely She's here. here. She's around us. Do you not have the energy to 
show yourself. Is there any certain time, Suzanne, that you've got the energy? Is it in the winter? Because we'll come back in the winter if you like. And it's even more freezing. And Paul and have four coats on, <laughs> three jumpers, 20 pairs of socks and two hats. And my hat, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just have a coat on because I'm big and brave and fat. Clansman. What's that? Clansman. That's like to Scotland. It's weird, isn't it? Suzanne, I don't want to force you to communicate. I want to remain polite with you. Please come forward. Crisis. Crisis. What happened in the car? Why did the car crash? Who was driving? Was you driving, Suzanne, or was it one of the other girls? It's Robert. You, you collided with a lorry, didn't you? And an old Cortina Mark One. Yeah, it wasn't probably old then, though. That's the thing. Sixty-five. They was in their in their prime, wasn't they? Yeah, Cortinas. Brand new off the four yeah, yeah. Typical car coming. Yeah. Always the way. You probably want to come in here or not? <laughs> yeah. I'm right here. here. Okay. Yes. Suzanne, would you like to come forward, please? That's all. I know you're around us. I know you are. You know, you would make us famous yeah. if you showed yourself on camera. Paul will never have to go to work. <laughs> the show worked, the finger. <laughs> That's what he's wanting to do. I did that a couple of years back. <laughs> I still claim your pension. Oh yeah, well I did, didn't I? Then I showed him the finger. <laughs> Depend. Depend. <laughs> well, we're being nice to you. Come on, Sue. Come on, Suzanne, would you like to come and speak to us, please? Do you prefer the name Suzanne? Or, or Sue, or Susie? My mum always liked the name Suzanne. What was, it, was your mum's name, uh, Suzanne? Sorry, Susan Ann. Susan Ann. What was your mum's name, Sue? Sue? Susan, Susan Ann. Susan yeah. Ann. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I can. Come on, Suzanne. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we've got Claire's one, and that sounded like a Scotsman, didn't it? It's a shame we can't zoom in on that camera. Yeah. If she even peers her head around the corner or something. She's here. Yeah. Oh, she's here. You're going to pick it up when you listen back. Mm. That's for sure. In the position. Suzanne, we use a platform called YouTube, which means the world would see this video. So if you can come forward and communicate, maybe your family may, yeah, watch, I mean, you may watch the video. I don't know who's alive now in your family, but I will do my history when I get home. Yeah. It's another light, late night, or not at all night. <laughs> Look, it's five o'clock in the morning and getting light, and I'm still reading. The young girl. As you can see, Su supposed. Suzanne, we come with humour. We do. <coughs> We're not taking the fun out of you at all. It was dreadful, absolutely dreadful what happened to phenomenal. you. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right. Okay. John, John. No, no one's or no one's parents should have to ever. Um, you know, put their child in the ground yeah. as it is. You know, they should never have to do that. I'm going to try and find out where you're you're buried, and we'll try and go there one night, Paul. Yeah, that would be interesting. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah, she's got to be local. See, we can't stop anywhere along the hill because there's no right where to. No, because it's all it's all been sort of modernised and motorway. But if anybody knows Bluebell Hill in Kent, they will know that that's a pretty dangerous road. There's so many accidents there. She's here. She's Suzanne, here. do you need help? Would you 
like us to attempt to pray with you. Yeah, I think this one does need a prayer, Paul. Yeah. Change, change voice. voice. Change voice? What, on the app? Do you want us to change the voice on the app? Okay. Have a go. If we don't get pneumonia first. What was that? Body. Oh, I say. I thought it was whisper. Yeah. Okay, Suzanne, we've always changed the app. Body. Do you, um, do you not realise that you've left your body? Did you die suddenly? I'm never so nervous all of a sudden. Yeah. Very jumpy. Today. Today? Date. Mm, cool. It was 2023. 11th of July now. Quarter to one in the morning. And only us maniacs are standing here. <laughs> you can hear a lot of lorries though, can't you, out on the motorway? Yeah. After some. Was that after some? Deal. Deal? Right, okay. Suzanne, tell us what happened. Ish. I think it was very quick, very sudden. A lorry pulled out in front of you, didn't it? You were probably all... And that, but we all Ish. done it when we were young, all laughing and giggling, aren't you? Oh, talk. It says Dom talk. Mm. Paul might get me in his pocket in a minute. <laughs> I'm half nervous. That's supposed to be whisper. Like the devil. <laughs> right. Did you want to put the necrophonic on? Yeah, we'll give it another couple of minutes. Okay. And we'll we might pick up more from her. Yeah. Life force! Life force? Yeah. You are a life force now, you're a soul. <laughs> Get us. Does that mean help us? Does that what you mean? This wind is really, really... Oh, really? There was only a little breeze when <laughs> we come out. Oh, poor Terry is expecting Yeah. <laughs> we keep trying to get back together and something went wrong. Yeah. I was gonna, we were going to go out Sunday, weren't we? And then I had to help my daughter because my grandson's got chicken pox. I, I personally think we was given a month, maybe more, break. We needed it we needed to, to liven things up. Recuperate. Yeah, because we've done a lot in the last couple of years. Yeah. And now we're back fresh, ready to go. Yep. I am fully infused. Here we are. She's there. Suzanne. Suzanne, are you kept here against your will? Or do you choose to stay? Do you feel comfortable here? Are you looking for your partner? For Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of that, I don't like it. So I say sorry. Yeah, I don't like that. A sorry is like a... Is that like what like a lady, a lady wears? Name? Yeah, I think we get rid of that application. I don't like it. I'll put it on... Yeah, that's awful, isn't it? It's like devilish, it does, doesn't it? I've changed it to robot. <laughs> yeah, lovely. You will be exterminated. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, I say. I don't know who this is behind. I don't know, is it Suzanne? Him. Yeah. It's a him. It's a him, okay. There is other ones that get up here. I'll, I'll look it all up when I get in. Come on, souls, be forthcoming. Or is that the right word? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Be open with us. Be honest. Yeah. I did. Mm. Sound like someone tapped the gate, didn't it? We had that once before, didn't we? Yeah. We nearly dropped down dead. Can you tap the gate again? Oh. Thanks, Paul. Takes a lot of energy. Show us you're here. I think, I think she is with the wind, don't you? 
How do you appear, Suzanne? Disagree. Disagree. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as <laughs> devilish as the other one. <laughs> oh, flame me now. <laughs> Good Lord. So, identify yourself. One year. Just drop the wind, will you? Who are you? Or should they make it worse? I said to Paul, I won't need my cardigan, will I? No. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his coat out of the car. I'm cold. <laughs> Barbara. Barbara. Okay, we have... Oh. Okay, right. Is that one of your friends, Suzanne? That's definitely quite an older name, isn't it? Yeah. That's like a 60s, 70s name. No, right? it's a 50s, 40s, 50s, 50s yeah. As in Barbara Streisand. Yeah. yeah. Represent. Represent what? UK. Skull. Okay. Did you hit your skull? Did yeah. you damage your skull? Is that what well, killed you? Well, you didn't come round, did you? Was you thrown from your body? Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, it sounded like someone was running there. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, blinky neck. Sounds like... Stop it. <laughs> Just pack it in, will you? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> we both go home on a buzz. Yeah. <laughs> Burn the sage like it's going out of fashion. I saw a thing how to make sage today. I'm going to give it a go next year. It's a bit late to grow sage now, yeah. but I'll give it a whirl. Might be worth it. I'll be able to see the smoke from home. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dry it out and that. You was there. What when I was reading about sage? Ooh. Can you fix me, Barbara. Yeah. Barbara, was you one of the victims? One of the crash victims. They, were, they did give the names, so I'll find out. It's remembering them, isn't it? Yeah. Right. No, Come on then, get that necrophonic on, boy. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, before I touch a cold <laughs> and well, end up gonna... in hospital again. <laughs> there is a prison near here. This one here? Yeah. Going in, mate. Okay. Right, let's get that on. Oh, oh. whisper, right. Yeah, yes. Are you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're an inmate. Okay. Why are you here? Can you help me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, we broke out. Did you break out of prison? You me. Well, get that necrophonic on, sunshine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're going home. Night. What did that say? Night. Night. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You broke out of prison. Night, yeah. Ooh. Wow. Oof, looking at You're going to get some whispers on here, sunshine. Right, necrophonic time, guys. So I'm going to turn the vox off of this one. Yeah, because so it interferes, it. doesn't it? Yeah. I'll put ghost tube on instead. Yeah, go on. Live life on the edge, why don't you? <laughs> Right, push your button. Right, here we go. Suzanne, we're mainly here for your communication. That's fine. For your communication. You must come forward and communicate with us. Tell us what happened to you, please. We're not going to harm you or hurt you. No. If anything, we're here to pray with you to help you to cross. You know? Mm. Your inmate that broke out of prison. I don't know what happened to you, but you must also speak. But let Suzanne speak first. Mm. Any other souls? You're in the queue. Yeah, but come it's forward. Cold. It's cold. It is yeah, it's cold. Is cold. <laughs> right, here we go, guys. I'm going to slow it to 80%.
Right at that. Oh. Suzanne? Suzanne Brown. Suzanne walks the land. Do you get into people's cars? Or do you jump out and make them jump? Why are you still here? 50 years down, uh, 60 years nearly down the line. Are you still waiting for your hubby? Why are you looking for Suzanne? Could you hear that? The wind? Yes. Paul? Yeah. The man? Yeah. Are you angry, Suzanne? Don't be angry, Suzanne. It's too long ago, too late. Need to go forward now. I'm sure you're confused. Yeah, I would be. Okay, Suzanne, let the inman, inmate talk. Come forward, inmate. What's your name, inmate? Nick. Did you die in prison? Did you break out with somebody else and they killed you? Oh. Right, Suzanne, have you got anything you want to tell us? One. One? Okay. Are there any other souls here? No. Yeah. Uh, we went off. I think we had a bit of a glitch there. That might be a, an omen, mightn't it, Paul? I don't know quite where we went off, but it wasn't that long ago. I'm hoping I got the prayer. Yeah, I think you did. Let's hope so. But we prayed, we prayed for yeah. Suzanne. And we and got, we got the yeah. word of sin, so. We did. And also we will come back in yes. November time. Yes. 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 And the, we'll come back November time at the time of her passing and see how things are. Yeah. Yeah, I'll find out the exact date. I think it's 21st of November. Okay. God bless you, souls. God bless and thank you. Thank you very much.
I know. Lovely, like wasn't it? Turn yeah, around, it know, was off. Yeah, didn't even know. No, I looked round and then I turned round and it was off. Oh, right, I think that's yeah, it for so, tonight. Yeah, we've done this for this one, guys. Hopefully, we've picked her up. Oh, I think we have. And the we, wind. Yeah, and we have helped her. So. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. Teresa said, we will come back. We we'll check we'll because see. she's walked this land for so long. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at 60 years almost. So, anyway, okay. Teresa says good night. Good night. We're going to go home and have a cup of coffee and warm ourselves up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very warm yes. night. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. You could have one as well. <laughs> okay. God bless each and every one yeah. of you guys. Thank you. And Thank we'll you see very you much. in our very next video, which is very soon. It will be.